it's Pete here, and I'm back for a free day-long tournament. This one's an Imps variety. Each each week or fortnight, um, well, each week it changes. <coughs> each day it changes, um, but uh, because I play it week by week or fortnightly, it's sort of a mixture of which ones we actually get. Um, this is an eight-board BBO tournament that you can play by clicking competitive and then tournaments, and just go for the free one. Um, if you want to compare, you can add me as a friend on BBO, and all the friends that play this tournament will get to see who does better or worse in it. And just add me, which is SLIYNK2, and let me know in the comments, and I'll add you back. Anyway, uh, let's jump straight in. Okay, uh, 12, 14 points, pass, pass to me, trip aces. Um, hmm. I'm a huge fan of aces. I'm just trying to work out, is there a chance that like I could make game opposite a past hand? Uh, where if I could, then maybe I should upgrade this into a no trump. Now, because it's imps, I think uh, I want to push a little bit harder. It doesn't mean we'll necessarily get to game, but uh, let's upgrade this. It's probably, it's not really worth it with the ace, jack, dalt, and diamond. And like no good pips, but uh, we're giving it a shot anyway. All right, so we got to four spades, and let's see how we did. Okay, so partner's got eleven points. I don't think we would have got to game if I just showed a weak no trump. Now I've got a spade loser. I've got no diamonds. I have a couple of clubs and a couple of hearts. I could throw a heart away on the third round of diamonds. Entries to the north hand are a bit limited. We got the two of diamonds lead, so it looks like diamonds are 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so we get that. Um, is it worth unblocking this diamond now? I can't see any harm in doing so. So we'll, we'll unblock. Okay, I see some harm in doing so. Two, three, seven diamonds, and they passed. I really didn't think that that was happening. <laughs> um, okay. So if I played a spade, it would have been better off. I just really didn't think that East would pass second seat nil with seven diamonds. Queen ten nine eight to seven. Okay. So if I played a spade, there was chances I could still make. Now, uh, dummy had 11 opposite my 14, which is 25, 15 missing. East has at least, has two of them. If I lead the jack of hearts now, I think I need East to have like singleton king of clubs. They've got a Dalton spade, so they've got two spades and... Yeah, so we'll leave the jack of hearts. And this kind of end plays the west hand. Okay. So we'll just play another heart. Okay, so east does have a singleton club. They have seven diamonds. They have two spades, three hearts. So show me that singleton king of clubs, please. Okay, so we're down one here. And if I just drew that trump first, I would, <laughs> I would have actually made. Um, I was slightly worried about entries back. Like if I played a spade up and then they let a heart through and I play low, they win. Not, nothing really bad would have happened. I just really didn't consider that diamonds were seven and one. Uh, so I think I just went off in a makeable game. Uh, yeah, but I would have actually preempted that East turn probably. Um, second seed, it's not great, but you got a seven three two one. Ah, <laughs> absolutely punished. I was so close to just playing a spade anyway. Yeah. All right, is there any real, like, can I get myself awkwardly placed? So. Let's say I win the ace of diamonds, I play a spade to the king, and that holds. 
What do I do then? I guess I can play a diamond back to the jack, but I can't ever necessarily get back to that north hand, like if ace ducked with the ace of spades. Like, that was one of my slight concerns. So there is something, like, it's not that there's without merit. And, like, we're can, trying to judge two very remote cases and... Yeah. <laughs> Punished. <laughs> okay, that's not a good start. Um, 10, 13, balanced hand, so I'll just open a club. One no trump, and we pass. Okay, low spade lead through the king queen. Dummy's got 10 points opposite my 13. 23, 17 missing. Um, hmm. Have they led low from jack 10, or have they led low from the ace? Uh, looks like spades are 4-3. Um, right. uh, low from the ace is more likely than low from jack 10, I think. Like, um, like I know percentage-wise it is, but uh, trying to judge how often the robots would lead low from the ace... I don't think they do it that often, but I still think it's more likely that they'd do that than uh, low away from Jack-10. Um, now, I've got two hearts, a spade is three. I could play a heart to the king and then finesse a heart uh, into the safe hand. They have to at least give me another spade, but if they push a club through, that's not particularly good. Because um, I have to duck that anyway, and then the spade comes through. So, I really just want to guess the uh, heart position. Um, now, do I have anything to go on? Well, West ducked the opening spade, which if they've got ace third, they would probably just win it. If they've got ace jack x, uh, they might duck it. Is there any point playing on diamonds before? I don't really think so, so... Like, it looks like East has four spades to West three, which is a slight benefit to playing West for the Queen of Hearts, but not really any great indication. Uh, also, East might have led from a three-card spade suit. They might have chosen a passive lead. If they didn't choose a passive lead, then maybe they've just got scattered cards, which would mean that they've got the hearts. So let's play East for the Queen of Hearts. Okay, and the club comes through, which I have to duck. Okay. Surprised that that one would be an understatement here. Um, so I've now got three hearts, a spade, and a, two clubs for six. If I play a diamond now, I'm pretty much home and hose, but I can cash my hearts first. Got a diamond discard, so East has a doubleton, so they're like a 4-2. They almost certainly have some good diamonds here. Because uh, it looks like West has King, Queen of Cobbs. So, diamond to the Queen. Another club. Uh, so I don't think East would pitch from Ace Jack Fifth. I'm not gonna f finesse here because I've just got so many losers. All right, so now if I have to work out who's got the Ace of Spades here, so West has King Queen of Clubs and the Queen of Hearts. If I play a Diamond now, I suspect East will probably win it, and if they've got uh three spades and a diamond then nothing can go away if i instead think west has the ace of spades i could exit a club and they might just have to um take two clubs and then play ace of spades spade i'm leaning towards east having it that would have given them like ace jack of diamonds and ace of spades to nine the other way they have king queen of clubs Ace of Spades, Queen of Hearts, and maybe they have a bid. Like, they don't really have a bid over one club, but maybe they do. 
Um, also, they might have just won the Ace of Spades in that case, so let's uh, just exit a diamond. Okay, good, and yeah, we, we get our spade. All right, making two. Probably could have made like 10 tricks or something. <laughs> 10 tricks, just everything is so favorable. If you guess it all, you're doing all right. Uh, but not a lot to go on. I think eight tricks is fine. So yeah, plus 120. Uh, 10, 17 highs, five, two, four, two. Start with a spade, just rebid two diamonds over a no trump. But uh, here, partner bid three spades, ten to, four card, 10 to 12. Uh, I don't think I've got any chance of slam. If they've got ace of clubs, ace of hearts, king of spades, slam's still not that great. Uh, like, we, it'd be okay, but I don't know what I'm doing with my diamond losers. I've got a heart finesse. I might have a spade loser. So here it's just four spades. Okay, so partner has very good cards for me, such that slam is actually decent. We can rough both of our diamonds. We can lose a heart and just have to play spades not to be 3-0 the wrong way. Uh, so let's just win there. And now I could try like leading the jack of hearts now, um, if they. But then I might just suffer rough. I'm still like worried about that the previous hand. Anyway, three of clubs lead looks like clubs are four two. Um, if they're leading a four card suit, like if they had a four four, like if they had a five four four shape, then they probably would be more inclined to uh, lead their five card suit. So. I don't think West is a 5 4 4 0 with a void spade, so let's play East to have the void. Okay, diamond up and try and sneak a heart through here. No, they got that. And we can just claim the rest. I can rough my two diamonds and we've got 12 tricks. So here, I don't think my partner's hand is worth a four card limit raise. They've got 11 highs, they've got a Dalton. This is worth a game force. I, like, someone will bid slam opposite this, but, like, it is, trying to visualize a hand where slam's actually legitimately good. Like, I need the Dalton diamond, and I need the ace of clubs. I need a heart honor. I need a spade honor. I need not, I need to be able to get rid of all of them. Seems very pushy. Nothing can be done. Four triple three, 13 counts. So there's just a three no trump bid. 13 to 15 balance. And we get a heart lead. So we've got two hearts, two diamonds, and uh, possibly four clubs. Still need an extra trick. I could try for the 10 of hearts to see if West led away from queen jack of hearts. If I play low, I'm hoping that East puts in the Queen or Jack, which should be, which is a misplay. So let's just try the 10. And I suppose I can duck this. There's no, like if they switch to a diamond, is that bad for me? Not really, because the other play is like, I win, I cast the Ace of Clubs and I cross over in hearts anyway. Um, I've got double stoppers in both, but uh, let's just duck here. Okay, we get the diamond, and I really need to get a spade trick, so is it worth pulling the spade now? I could play like club to the ace, heart over, jack of clubs. Uh, this means that if uh, club finesse fails, I'm at least up to seven tricks, whereas if I play a spade and miss guess, and they play another diamond, and if clubs break poorly, then I'm still down a fair bit. So let's go this approach. Ace of spades. Why on earth did they do that? I'm now just cold, so we just cash king of spades. And ten of spades knocking out the queen. And I'm not cold. Oh my god, I can't even count. Oh. 
What was I doing? I just had a finesse. Oh my god. Uh, I forgot about that heart loser. Just not playing well at all. Like, they can always beat me one, but like that cash of Ace of Spades was just bizarre. So if I'd won and played a spade to the 10, I still would have gone down, but... Uh, so heart lead... Like, if I pl crossed over and played a spade to the 10 and I lost to the Queen, then I... Like, it's just not going to happen. West isn't cashing the Ace from Ace Queen. I just forgot about that fourth round of hearts. Oh my god, that was just terrible. Gone down in two makeable games. Yeah. Well, let's not look at that one anymore. Ah, 10, 12. Okay, so we need to, like, recover this back to something respectable. Like, none of our scores are good at the moment. So, I don't think that many people make four no, uh, three no trumps, but some people will. Um... I don't think that m many people will bid four spades, but some people will. But like it's like lose six, lose six, lose three, probably about flat. So I think we're down 12 at the moment. Hopefully we can get this, bring this back to even over the next uh, four. So we've got 10, 12 highs, so just a spade and past that. This is really interesting because it's a best hand tournament. I've got 12, Dummy's got 9, which is 21. So there are 19 missing and they're very evenly split. We've got two heart losers, we've got... So I want them to duck that and now I can cash ace of spades and go diamond, diamond, diamond pitching a heart. If spades are 3-1 then I will be able to Hmm. Spades are 3 1. Then I got uh, two more club losers, two hearts, two spades. One of them goes away. I'd still make, but uh, yeah. It means I can't get my uh, rough of the uh, club. Diamonds are 3 2. They're not. Okay, so here it now looks like we do actually have, like, West would probably rough in uh, if they had King, Queen of Spades. Uh, or, like, if they had a Dalton Spade. So it looks like East Spades are 3-1. And they can draw my trumps. But I've got five losers here. There's not a lot I can do about it. Now I'll cash King Queen of Spades. Like I'm surprised West didn't balance here with a stiff spade. So they've got a stiff spade and two diamonds. So they've got like a five five or a six four shape. So they could have like bid something with that hand. Like favorable vulnerability. That's kind of ridiculous that they don't do anything. So if I return a club straight away, then uh, like I kind of just have to guess spades on this hand. I don't think that's reasonable. Two spades making two, just probably a pretty normal result. Don't know what else other people will do on that. Uh, 10, 15, balanced hand. I have a real one new trump opening. Four diamonds is transfer to hearts. Good. Partner was not interested in any more. My hand was very good for them. No way I could have actually done anything more. But here we have three spade losers and a heart. We're just going to win, draw a trump, see if they're 2-2, two, two, if they are, or a singleton queen. Then play four rounds of diamonds and throw as many of my spades away as I can. I could have led the jack of hearts there, but it's unlikely to get covered. Okay, so king of diamonds... And do diamonds split? They do. So we make the lot. Uh, is it possible for... Like, partner's got a 6-4... Um, 
Six four eleven count. So you'd think that they might be able to make some sort of slam trade because we just made Grand Slam opposite a minimum. Now you wouldn't want to be in Grand Slam, but Slam is just on the Queen of Trumps falling, either two two or stiff queen. So pretty good, and it's even better than that if uh, they don't let a spade. If they don't let a spade, we've got a lot more time to actually do that. We could even lose to the heart and then fall back on it. So, very good slam, but nothing we can really do about that. 12-13, uh, balanced hand, so we'll just open a diamond. We've got a spade fit, so I'll bid two spades. We've got 13 here. And dummy has 12, so we've got 25. 25 points. And it looks like West... Oh, wait. does West doesn't have ace-king of clubs here. West has a singleton ace of clubs, is my guess. Um, because the row is likely leading king from ace-king. And they got the king of hearts here. Um... Okay, so is it worth playing a spade to the ace hard over and a spade up? If West has a doubleton jack of spades, that's all good. If West has... Uh, like, East has... Would you overcall on the ace of clubs and king of hearts and jack of spades? Yes. If West has a doubleton spade, I think that's good to uh, go this approach. I think they would fly there if they had the king, so let's duck that. Oh, I shouldn't have ducked it, because they get the trump promo anyway. Because uh, my spades aren't good enough. So we just get to rough that. And claim. Down one. Um, uh... Yeah, we're just down one. We, we did the best that we could, but it didn't really matter. Even if I play... So if I play a spade to the queen, and that loses, and then it goes club, club rough, it's all the same. So here we just lose a few imps to like some people that might pass my hand, or some people that uh, opened a club and don't get the stiff ace of clubs lead, or don't bid two spades. So lose a bit more. I, I, like, I don't have a plus position here. Board 8, 10, 14, 6, 4, uh, so a bit of heart, spade, two clubs. So we're at least going to game, is there a chance of slam? So if partner's got king, queen of spades, and queen of hearts, no, nah, so there's just a four spade bid. Okay, we get a low spade lead. Or nine of spades. So we've got a club loser. We have a couple of heart losers. East has like the ace jack of clubs. And not so much else. Probably a diamond honor. I want to get to this north hand. Looks like spades are 4 1. If spades are 4 1, I'm probably in trouble. So I think I don't want to play ace of spades, spade up. Okay, they're 3-2. Okay, ace of hearts there. Alright, so now we rough. King of hearts. Ah, wow, they... they set up my diamonds there? I don't think all my diamonds are coming good, but... No. 
I forgot about the S-Clubs, just playing really bad. Anyway, uh, my diamonds do set up for down one. Uh, <laughs> just, just terrible. Well, overall, really bad. Uh, just without success. No plus positions at all. Uh, can I have made that? So I am down on the spade lead. Four spades seems like the normal spot to go. Uh, overall, I think I am minus... I get to see the provisional results, but uh, let's say lose six, flat, lose two, lose six, so that's uh, 14, flat, uh, lose two, because some people did slam, is 16, lose five, lose five, minus 26, let's see how we go. Probably pretty negative here. Wow, I actually won some imps on some things. Provisional results is minus 1.6. So I was a little bit off on my estimation here. Uh, I got a flat board for going off in a makeable game. I did lose half an imp for missing the slam. I did lose two imps for... So I... Flat board for going off in a makeable game. Lose two imps for going off in a not makeable game that I got a chance to make. Lose five for... What was board seven? Lose five for going off in, like, a reasonable game that goes down. That's harsh. Anyway. Alright, so the results are in, and the provisional rank... Rate was uh, pretty good, minus 1.7. But uh, let's check out the friends group, see who did what. So LMHK 34.51 and finished in 45th position. That was that was pretty good. Uh, and we've got two other top 1,000 finishes, which are all really good by Manu Dude 03 and Burmy. So nice work to you guys. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, I finished in 4,819th. If anyone else wants to join this friends group list, just add me uh, in BBO. I'm using uh, Slink2, don't forget the 2, S-L-I-Y-N-K-2, and just post a comment in the, uh, post a message in the comments below that you've added me with your username, and I'll add you back. So let's just have a uh, quick look here. Alright, so four spades down one was flat, so... Four spades down two, and a few people making. This just baffles me. Like I, I deserve to lose for more for that. Uh, then uh, one no plus one, so lots of people the same. Someone got to three no. Uh, some people going down. Uh, three no was there to be bid and made. Surprised only one person did it. Then uh, lost one imp for not bidding the slam where I. I really feel like my partner is underbid here. Like, this is worth a game for us for sure. Then three no down one. Uh, <laughs> like, they gave me a chance. A bunch of people were making it. And lots of people going further down than me. Um, that was just sloppy. Just forgot about the heart there. Got punished. Then board number five. We won two imps for two spades making. Someone bid and made four spades, which is a bit of a joke. And some people went a lot down in four spades, which is a lot more reasonable. We won one imp for four hearts plus one. Um, I guess it was just a pretty flat board. A um, couple of people bid slam. But, uh, yeah, I think my partner should, like, show a bit more interest in this. Like, it's hard to envisage, but, like, six four is a pretty good shape, so... If you could like show hearts and splinter or something maybe. Then I finally got to a reasonable game that was okay, but uh, the opponents uh, managed to beat me. A bunch of people beat, uh, made it. They had the same option. So what happened there? Ace of clubs, heart switch, they won. Spade to the queen, king of clubs. You're kidding me, right? So why not give your partner the uh, Trump promo? That seems pretty sloppy. I thought, like, I was worried about the Trump promotion and I came up with the best way to prevent it, that West might have Jack Doubleton, and I got punished for that. Seems unusual. And then board eight, four spades, down one. Um, this one was kind of unlucky, but I won two imps for this, 
Only one person made four spades, but it was almost cold. But lots of people going lots off. So everyone got to four spades, which was good to see. But uh, overall, minus one point uh, seven, I think, was the overall result. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this free day-long tournament, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.